Hey, what's going on everybody? Having a good weekend so far? Mine's been pretty chill. So check this out. There has just been so many good, bad, otherwise things about Nvidia, about RTX, about what it does, all the cards are blowing up, all this crazy stuff. Um, I've just really recently have just seriously seen a trend that I'm not really liking and I it just it kind of just kind of makes me kind of ashamed to be a person when I see that the really the biggest tech and the things that people watch are tech bashing. That's what really it's become now. He who can bash the best tech has the biggest channel. You know, ooh, let's bash some tech, let's say some bad stuff. That has honestly never been my style ever been my style and it's funny because a lot of people say oh you know Elric you're shilling for this company you're shilling for that company do you even know what the freaking word shill means do you because it doesn't seem like you really do a shill is a person who's working inside of a store when someone is like selling items and the shills inside of the store promoting you to buy the items in the store when have I ever once in any video said hey you have to go out and buy this name one show me a video it's never happened. I always leave it up to you. I might say I like something or I dislike something, but that is way different than being a shill, a person trying to push you to buy something. And if I say anything positive about NVIDIA in a video, all of a sudden, like, I've been paid by NVIDIA to do this. And it's just like totally insane, 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 insane. Um, I don't know about other reviewers. I don't see their paychecks and what they do, but I've never, ever received a penny. I keep saying this over and over again from any of these companies at all. They're not giving me any money. I base all my reviews on my own opinions on how I feel about stuff. Now, you think NVIDIA is like all loving me and they're like, oh yeah, you know, you're our sweet boy, Elric. Oh, I just want to cuss right now, but then the video will get rated. I won't get any money, so I'm not going to do that. But it's just total, total, totally, completely untrue. They were very unhappy about my Battlefield video. I'll tell you right now. Um, because I tested on Ultra, even though we did go from low to high and like everything was just fine, they didn't, they didn't like the video. They're not very happy with me right now. You know, in their opinion, they feel that RTX is, you know, pretty much completely misunderstood by all of us reviewers out here, you know, and only certain people, you know, oh, actually get the story, you know, and to me, I, I, I don't know, you know, would make heads or tails of that because like I never took the Kool-Aid. I'm not like saying, hey, you know, RTX is the greatest thing in the world. I'm going to level with you exactly what RTX is about, okay? Right now, the market is completely, utterly flat. The market's flat. AMD has nothing competitive. Intel's new graphic cards have not come out. So right now, everything out there is just a bunch of farts in the wind. That's all that it is. There's nothing solid and concrete coming out. Do you see an AMD card out there that can beat anything on NVIDIA's plate? No, you cannot. There is nothing out there at all. So why would NVIDIA really need to just put a card out there that's just more frames per second when they've already got more frames per second on their video card? Do you really understand this fact? They're already winning the frames per second battle before any of the 2080 cards, 2070 cards, none of that stuff. Before it even came out of the market, NVIDIA was doing a lot of money. All their cards were usually sold out. This is just the way things are. So at this point in time, NVIDIA decided to just do something different completely. And I can understand, you know, why they would do this. Now, whether I honestly think the cards are worth, you know, $1,400, I've told you before, people out there don't have the kind of money to buy this stuff right at the moment. And RTX is not fully supported yet. Okay, that's just the way that it is. NVIDIA doesn't like my opinion. I'm sorry about that. That's just how I feel. Is the technology a valid technology for the future? Yes, I believe it is. Just like all the other stuff that's come out, just when we first saw 3D effects and we see physics and all that stuff it comes to the market and then after a while it just becomes a standard thing that nobody even really talks about you expect every game to have physics in it now it's not even talked about you expect it to be there so why wouldn't nvidia at this point in time when there's absolutely no competition on the market whatsoever what better time honestly to release something that's even ahead of its time why not why not put it out there and if it's out there already then that gives gamers, you know, and game developers especially, the time to develop all the back-end software for it. So let's just say that NVIDIA waited. And I understand this point completely. So my friend at NVIDIA, I'm telling you, I understand your point on this. I really do. There really is no reason why they had to wait. Why not release the technology before it's really ready? 
I mean, what do they need to do? Sit around and try to get people to, to invest in this technology when they haven't even seen it? So it kind of, in a way, does make sense to release technology out there, even though it's not fully supported. Now, can I, does that mean that I mean, I'm telling you, go out and buy this right now, you need it? No, I've never felt that way because, yeah, it is going to be something very effective. Probably on the next gen cards, you'll see, you know, 40 to 50 games, maybe 60 games that all support RTX and it's doing what it's supposed to be. Now, as we've seen in the results with the Battlefield 5 with the brand new patch, you guys can see it did add great frame rates at both 1440 and 1080p. And I did make a mistake. I said 10% and 4K was actually just 10 frames per second, excuse me, in the 4K. So they weren't very happy about that even though that's really kind of a, a really, really small point. Nobody really, you know, bitched about it whatsoever. But the bottom line is, NVIDIA released this technology because there is really nothing on the market to compete with them. And the bottom line is, why not? Seriously, it really just comes down to that. If you've got no competition, you don't have to release a new car. There's nothing forcing to you. You can sit on your laurels, kick back, and collect your money from your 1080s, your 1070s, you know, your Titan XPs, and you're good to go. You can chill out and make yourself millions of dollars. You don't have to release a new card. So in that case, why not release a card that has technology that may not be totally relevant at the moment? But as you can see, even as the time has gone by, we're starting to see the relevancy of this technology become more and more prevalent when we see more games coming out. And that's just the way it's going to be. And other companies have done this as well. AMD has released stuff that was ahead of its time. And, you know, they boasted about it. Hey, we're doing stuff ahead of our time. Now NVIDIA is just doing the same thing. So yeah, so sure, maybe RTX isn't supported in every single game out there. The more, you know, And if you don't have the money to buy the cards, then heck, go ahead and just buy yourself a 1080 Ti, 1080, 1070, 1060. Those cards have all dropped down in price quite a bit. No one is holding a gun to your head making you go buy these cards. So why I see all these people putting all these hate videos out and this bashing out, you guys act like NVIDIA's gone to your house and like I've come to your house and we've all told you, oh, hey, this is the best stuff in the world. You need it. You need to have it. It's like the Bible. It needs to be a part of your life. Like I, nobody has really, I, I haven't seen, ever really said that about RTX. I have never heard that ever. It's ahead of its time. Sure, it totally is. NVIDIA, they really have no competition at the moment. They really don't. The AMD fans get mad and go, yeah, you know, next year AMD is going to have something that's going to totally destroy these guys. Well, you know what? When I see it, I'll believe it. I like AMD stuff. I use AMD stuff. We have a bunch of systems around here. I sell a lot of AMD systems to my friends because let's just face it, AMD always has a better price point with everything. Video cards, CPUs, all of that stuff. Intel, NVIDIA, always known to be like the Ferrari and the Rolls-Royce of these companies. So if you want to have a PC that's going to have a Ferrari or Rolls-Royce in it, you're going to obviously have to pay these prices. I didn't create this market. I'm not doing anything with this market. And a kind of a strange thing is, I'll tell you this, you know, a lot of my Chinese friends, one of the big things in their culture is bragging about how much they spent on their car. Seriously. Like in their culture, the person who like who has the most expensive car is like the G of the block. So maybe NVIDIA is thinking, well, hey, we'll charge you outrageous prices. And the mentality would be, well, God, our stuff costs so much money, people will buy it. But at the end of the day, you have the choice of where you spend your money. You do not have to buy RTX. You don't have to give your money to NVIDIA. But if you like that technology, you like what it does, you're happy with your performance with your NVIDIA stuff and you're not really too happy with AMD stuff, well then hey, you're just going to have to suck it up, buy it and deal with it as the technology comes out or just wait till the next generation comes and there's a lot more games out there. So that's it folks. NVIDIA never had any competition, leaving a giant opening hole in the market for them to do something completely left-sided. Why move forward to an area that you already are succeeding in? Why not expand in a sideways motion? In a way, it's like CPUs. You don't CPUs get, see getting you know past five gigahertz, but what you do see is you see more cores coming out, more cores, more cores, more cores as they speed up, try to speed up each core to be as fast working all together. So technology going sideways is kind of a thing that always happens. It's happened in CPUs. And now with RTX, we see it happening in the video card as well. So like it, love it. No one's forcing you to buy it. But if you're into it, hey, you know what you're getting and you know how to spend your money. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Peace. We'll see you guys back here for more tech.